congratulations on the movie. Saw it yesterday. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of a uh, film, you know, stuff that I might not know. Um, what do you think might surprise people to learn about the making of Stillwater? Um, I think just that we got to, um, you know, I got to, at least for me, spend a lot of time talking with people um, at Le Bon Met, the prison, a lot of the guards, um, all the guards that you see in the movie are real guards that actually work there. So um, I kind of got to walk through and see what my day-to-day -day life would be like in there. And, um, you know, it, it just felt very, uh, we tried to do everything really authentically and um, I hope that that comes across um, when people see it. A hundred percent. I think one of the reasons it does is because uh, Tom has this knack with dialogue about making it like very authentic and it doesn't feel like a Hollywood script. It feels like you're watching real life people, you know, real people yeah. just on a movie screen. Can you sort of talk about, uh, the, I guess, the script and, and Tom's dialogue? Yeah, I think that um, I was really lucky uh, that when you have such um, a great script to work with, it kind of makes your job a lot easier um, because the emotions just kind of come out because the writing is, is so um, real and genuine. So um, I think that's just a real testament to um, Tom and, and Noe and Toma, who were the other writers on it, um, just how they really um, found a way to tell uh, this story, which is really complicated in such a truthful way. Matt Damon is uh, absolutely one of my favorite actors. He just adds this believability to his performances. What did you take away from working with him? Maybe what surprised you about working with him? Um, you know, he's such a, um, a really patient actor and so generous and and really collaborative and um, just down to do as many takes as need be to get it right. And um, yeah, he's he's super not like full of himself. He he could be if he wanted to, I'm sure. But he's just a super down to earth, like normal dad. Sure. I, the thing that I found, uh, I, I've gotten to interview him a number of times, and he's always game to talk about anything. Could be Scorsese, could be the Red Sox, it, it could be anything. Yeah. Uh, did you ever, you know, geek out with him over just stupid stuff? Or you're like, remember when you did that movie, The Departed? That was kind of good. <laughs> um, uh, no, I, I think mostly we, we would just, the, the funniest thing that happened, I think, was that we had to do a scene where I'm driving the car and he's in it. And uh, I believe he was tipped off that I'd gotten my license for the movie. And um, there's just one picture of us sitting in the car and Tom's like giving us some direction. And it was right before I started driving. And I'm like, like, am I gonna accidentally kill Matt Damon? And he's just like clenching onto the side of the door, like terrified probably for his life, but he taught me how to do a U-turn, so that was nice. <laughs> uh, my last thing for you is uh, you got to film on location and I think that added so much to this film. No, none of it was in a sound stage. Can you sort of talk about that experience of being there and really being on location? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Marseille is such a kind of character in the film and it's, it's a completely um, different place than anywhere else in the world, in my opinion. And so I think, um, just getting to be there and really get a feel for the city and the energy there was um, was really important to the, the film. 100%. On that note, I got to go. Thank you so much for your time and congrats Thank on the you. movie.